For the first time, these young voters in the Somme region of France are about to cast ballots in a presidential election. And they're not shy about showing their political loyalties. Like many first-timers, they've been won over by the National Front and its leader Marine Le Pen. More than a quarter now say they would back the far right at the polls. My parents haven't stopped complaining about the government. The socialists and UMP haven't done anything while they've been in power. Jobless and with limited prospects, young people like Kevin are turning increasingly to the National Front with its anti-immigration policies and anti-establishment image. With the election looming, the party is paying his expenses while he hands out leaflets with other supporters. It's really a family atmosphere, a good atmosphere. We meet up, we might go for a coffee or a drink after putting up posters. This is fertile ground for the far right, small towns hurting in tough economic times. Abbeville lost its biggest employer when a sugar refinery closed here three years ago. Today, unemployment stands at 10%. Alienated by the big parties, Ford is pounding the pavements in support of the National Front. Their plan is much less credible than Marine Le Pen's. They don't have any figures or examples to back it up and aren't on the ground enough to ask us questions. And to hear echoes of Le Pen's message, you don't have to go far. When you have a problem, you ask for state help and you're refused. A foreigner arrives, asks for help and gets it straight away. Overall, the National Front's poll ratings remain stagnant. Nonetheless, its command of the youth vote is a serious wake-up call to mainstream politicians.